Asia. It's bounded by the Black Sea from one side and four countries from another – Russia, Turkey, Armenia and Azerbaijan. I used Belize and later Batumi as a base to explore the cities and did four full-day trips from Tbilisi and one-day trip from Batumi to learn more about other beautiful sites of the country. This is a summary video of my trip in Georgia and I would like to show you the best places of the country in short. If you need more information, please watch the separate videos about each place shown in this video. Creaky Park from the Iceberg View creates a large-scale map of Georgia and it's hosting two major attractions. Bridge of Peace is stretching 150 meters over Kura River, linking Rika Park and Old Town of Central Belize, and it's one of the most recognizable landmarks of the capital. Cable car takes visitors from the park and ends up at Salalaki Hill, where a 20 meters aluminium statue of Mother Georgia was erected to celebrate 1500 Belize anniversary. I suggest to walk back from the hill to the city to enjoy the views and to explore Narikala Fortress, the oldest structure of Belize. Originally, it was a Persian citadel and used for defense purposes and in wars. Just a few steps away from the old town and following the springs that flow between a mini canyon that culminates at like the heavy waterfall, 22 meters high, but the name translated as the Gorge of Figs. Thermal springs are the foundation of the Belize. The water that comes from the springs contains sulfur and it's approximately 40-50 degrees. There are a variety of bathhouses in the city, but the most famous one are Beliani Baths. Georgia is the oldest winemaking country in the world, with a tradition dating back 8,000 years. There are a lot of wine bars across the country offering wine tasting, but a typical Georgian wine is Sapiravia and Rkatsetele. There is also a wine museum in the city to learn more about Georgian wine culture. Holy Trinity Church is the main cathedral of the Church of Georgia, the third tallest Eastern Orthodox cathedral in the world, built on the top of the hill and well seen on any city panoramic views. Tbilisi Opera is the main opera house of Georgia and one of the oldest such establishments in Eastern Europe. It was built in neo Moorish style with exquisite oriental design. The Opera House is one of the centers of cultural life and it also houses the State Belly of Georgia. The Dry Bridge Market is an open flea market with an assortment of antiques, jewelry and brick and brick on sale. You will find anything from Soviet era memorabilia to household items to artwork. It's a vibrant spot to hunt around for a unique souvenir from your travels. Street art in Belize is scattered across its back streets and underground passages. The city has quite a few emerging new artists eager to leave their mark. A large portion of Belize street art you can find underground like Baratashvili Bridge. Tbilisi, an artistic city. Walking around the streets, you will see historical monument or modern sculpture on every corner that adds up uniquely to the old city. The funicular was built more than 100 years ago and still taking passengers to the holy mountain Tatminda, which is the highest point in Tbilisi, with a stop at Pantheon where some prominent artists, writers and national heroes of Georgia are buried. There is a large Mdatsminda park on the top of the hill, with some recreational zones for extreme sports and family activities, as well as a restaurant Fanicula, where you can have the best kachipuri in the city.
Museum of Modern Art is mostly devoted to founder Zorab Tsaretelli's sculptures and paintings. The highlights of museum are exhibition of Charlie Chaplin and Belisi, an apple of love, which is a structure of nine meters high, and adorned with murals of men and women standing in Kamasutra poses. Queen Derijan's palace is famous with elegant wraparound balcony, uplifted on the hilltop, and opening the sweeping views of Belisi. Underneath the palace, there is a green spring line wall with water tickling down softly, which local people often call the crying wall. Fabrika is a former Soviet Union factory that has been transformed into a multifunctional urban space with cafes, bars and co-working area. Old Tbilisi is a labyrinth of architectural delight. Narrow Indian streets with colorful houses covered with grapevine, full of special Tbilisi spirit and authentic old world charm. I love wandering around Tbilisi streets. It's a terrific city to explore on foot. Sometimes I did it with free walking tools that cover the different areas of Tbilisi and it's a good way to explore the new city. Agmashanabeli Avenue is one of Tbilisi's oldest avenues with lots of cafes and restaurants and remarkable for its 19th century classical architecture and European style and Georgian flavor. One quirk of the city's anatomy that you will see all over Tbilisi are the so-called Italian courtyards. Here you can see houses with inviting balconies and the laundry hanging on clotheslines that run in between the small community of homes. I stayed in the small house in Avlabari, built on the rock with a great view over Tbilisi. One of Tbilisi's most recognizable landmarks, the Kaleidoscope House, has large multicolored stained glass windows on all three sides on its front stairway. And Kalantarov House, the residential house, looks like opera theater. Tbilisi is no other place like it in the world, where East meets West. It sits on the crossroads, in neither Asian nor fully European. On the way to Mount Kazbeki, which is located 100 km from Tbilisi, we visit artificial water reservoir Jinvali Lake, 17th century Ananuri fortress, named after Anna from Nuri, who was tortured and killed, but didn't give up the secret location of a tunnel to the enemies. And also the place where two Aragvi rivers, black and white, merging without mixing, Georgian military highway runs for 212 kilometers between Belisi in Georgia and Vladikavkaz in Russia, and it's one of the most scenic roads I've ever seen. It was used since antiquity, but only in the 18th century, a crude whose carriage trail was built by Russian General Potemkin, who sent 800 troops to improve the road. Gergeti Trinity Church is situated at an elevation of 2,170 meters and overlooking Mount Kazbeki, which is one of the ten highest peaks in Russia and the third highest peak in Georgia, with a total elevation of 5,054 meters above sea level. Barjomi is a resort town known for its mineral water industry. Barjomi water is a naturally carbonated mineral water from Antesian springs in the valley, a fed by water from glaciers covering the peaks of Bakuriani mountains. Vardia is a spectacular cave monastery and is one of the oldest cave cities in the world. It stretches along the cliff for some 500 meters and up to 19 tiles. 
The complex contains 6,000 rooms, including chapels and huge church, 25 cellars, secret tunnel to the river, and irrigation pipes. Rabati Castle is a medieval fortress originally consisted of three parts. The castle that surrounded Citadel and the greater city. The castle was surrounded by three ramparts and was connected with the adjacent area by tunnels. Within the citadel there was a large courtyard with a church, mosque and the palace. Mertvili Canyon and Prometheus Cave are located 300 km from Tbilisi and it was the longest day trip I've had in Georgia. Prometheus Cave is about 60-70 million years old. In the cave are found 22 holes. The total length of the cave is 3 km with a hiking trail of 1500 meters. Mertvili Canyon is two and a half kilometers gorge, has 50 to 70 meters high rock walls and several cascading waterfalls. There is an option to take a trip by inflatable boat. It's 600 meters round trip on Abashi River and it takes 15 minutes ride to watch amazing views of the canyon. Mtsieta is one of the oldest cities in Georgia and the former capital, with the main site of the Svetitskhaveli Cathedral or the Cathedral of the Living Pillar. Svetitskhaveli has long been one of the principal Georgian Orthodox churches and is among the most venerated places of worship in the region. Throughout the centuries, the cathedral served as a burial place for the Georgian kings. Another gem of Tsieta is a Chvari monastery, stands on the rocky mountain top, 656 meters high, at the confluence of Aragvi and Kura rivers. It's a rare case of an early medieval Georgian church that has survived till the present days almost unchanged. Guri is a city known as the birthplace of the Soviet leader and politician Joseph Stalin with a museum dedicated to his life and retaining in Soviet era characteristics. The museum also preserved a small wooden hut where Stalin was born and spent his first four years, as well as his personal railway carriage that he used from 1941, including his attendances at Yalta and Tehran conferences. Uplitsihi is an ancient rock hewed town, identified by archaeologists as one of the oldest urban settlements in Georgia. The earliest traces of human presence on Uplitsihi dated back to the end of the second millennium BC. Georgia is a wine-making country, where you can have few sips of wine even in the middle of forgotten city. There is a good high-speed train connection between Belize and Batumi. It takes only five and a half hours to get to the Black Sea coast. The weather in Batumi in the low season is usually warm and pleasant. It can change pretty fast from the rain to sunny blue sky. Europe Square is the biggest piazza in the city, with a statue of Medea holding a golden fleece in her hand as a symbol of Georgian ties to Europe, and it's also a reminder of Georgian cultural connections to many ancient civilizations. The center of the old town is Piazza, the hidden square built in the Italian style, with a beautiful mosaic in the center, which is considered the largest marble mosaic in Europe.
Batumi Seaport is a free port due to location on the deep waters, which allows large tonnage vessels. There are a lot of fishermen along the way to the fish market, where you can find the freshest fish in the town, caught the same morning or even minutes before you buy it. Argo cable car is 2,586 meters long and 256 meters high. It takes about 15 minutes to get to the upper deck. It offers spectacular views on the town, the Black Sea and the surrounding mountains. The complex includes cafes, restaurants, shops, open air hall and the roof terraces. Batumi Botanical Garden covers an area of 100 hectares and located 9 kilometers from city center on the Black Seashore. It's the oldest, biggest plant research facilities in the region. There are over 2,000 different species across the globe, represented in nine different zones, all connected by a dozen different walking paths and off-road hiking trails. Holy Trinity Church is sitting on the top of Mount Trinity, surrounded by vastness of nature and located 8 kilometers from Batumi. The grounds contain a large viewing platform that looks out in the direction of Black Sea, a nunnery and two temples. Batumi Central Market occupies a huge field warehouse there are two levels. Downstairs is the fresh fruit and veg section, but the butcher's out back. Upstairs is for preserves, honey and churchella, with a separate cheese section. You can also find loose leaf tobacco, locally grown tea leaves, and lots of coffee and spices. Batumi Boulevard is the city's pride and joy. It's one of the oldest parts of Batumi and one of the largest parks of its kind in Europe. It's stretching for seven kilometers along the seafront with series of walking and cycling paths that thread their way through manicured gardens, past recreation zones, clusters of cafes and dozens of sculptures, many of them are amongst things. Batumi is the second largest city of Georgia. Much of Batumi's economy revolves around tourism and gambling. Its nickname is Las Vegas on the Black Sea. One of the important landmarks around Batumi is the Monument to St. Andrew, known as the First Cult, as he was the first of the Twelve Apostles to be called by Jesus. Gonyo Fortress is an impressive ancient site in the vicinity of Batumi. It was built by the Romans in the 1st century AD, occupied by Byzantines in the 6th century, and Ottomans in the 16th century. This tour was full of surprises. The driver took us to the abandoned fruit gardens to take the fresh persimmon, oranges and kiwi, as well as to the beautiful viewpoint of the influence of Acheriskali and Chorok shavers that in spring-summer season have different colors without mixing their waters into each other. The way to Merveti waterfall lies through the boxwood alley that looks like it came from the fairy tale enchanted and haunted at the same time. It's a beautiful Cascadian waterfall about 20 meters high. The last highlight of the trip is the dinner in the small family restaurant with a freshly made traditional food accompanied with a Georgian wine and vodka. 
The family provided the great folk performance and even masterclass for the guests, teaching us to the traditional national dances in the traditional dresses. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.